you know, if there is something that has improved my quality of life so, so, so extremely, it has surely been taking my life less seriously. Thinking of myself as a sim character. If there's something that has helped me tremendously, it's this. There is literally nothing that has removed pressure and stress off of me more than this specific thing. So today, since it's Thanksgiving and I am officially part of a Thanksgiving lunch, which is insane, you guys. The video is gonna be a little bit different because we're going to have like a get ready with me and I will show you my Thanksgiving makeup. My hair is wet right now because I just had a shower and I prefer to air dry my hair without using the hair dryer. If you think of yourself as being a video game character, you understand that life is not that deep. Seriously, guys, things are not that deep. If you are not succeeding in what you're doing at the moment, it's fine, it's not that deep. Everything is all part of the plot. Everything is part of your growth. So I don't know how familiar you guys are with video games. I am not a huge gamer, but my favorite game was The Sims. I used to play the version free play on my dad's iPad and then on my personal phone later. And I'll still play it occasionally. Something that has changed my life extremely has been starting to think of myself as being a sim character. If you've never played The Sims, I would definitely advise you to do it. It's such a fun game and I love it. But basically, everything you get, the, the way in which you can level up, it's thanks to uh, different quests. So basically, you have to reach certain specific goals in a certain specific time, sometimes, sometimes it's not. And thanks to them, you can uh, um, level up. And honestly, there's no reason why we shouldn't think of our life in the same way. Because if you think about it, we also level up by doing different things. So before doing that specific thing, we haven't leveled up yet. I was talking to, sorry, I need to look at myself. I was talking to uh, my, my partner the other day and I was telling him that I am impressed with myself because I have never managed to be this consistent with my social media. I have posted a bunch of videos throughout a whole month and this is a big milestone for me because I often stop way long before that. And I was telling him that I feel like the reason why I'm a lot more consistent is that at the moment, I find it a lot more enjoyable to create content in that I feel like my content is for the first time in my life, high quality, something that people are looking for, something that people need. And I was telling him, I started trying to create some sort of content for internet in um, 2019. And I always gave up. And that's pretty much because I did not think that my content was watchable. I did not feel like I was publishing actual quality content that I would have watched in the first place. So essentially, the way in which we managed to level up is the way that also in The Sims you can level up and in many other uh, video games. Well, let me do some bronzing. My face is really funny, I guess. So it's almost like I started living my life like I was a sim character. And I feel like that's what you should do too, especially if you are scared of your performance or if you're scared of getting stagnant. For its nature, life is not at all stagnant, but I can understand why sometimes it may feel like it. Sometimes I feel like my life is stagnant and I kind of lose the sense of my life. I, I lose my purpose. I am not aware of where I am, where I want to be, how far I've come. And this is honestly something that has been helping me thinking of my life as a big sequence of lots of different quests has helped me tremendously because I relieve the pressure of these thoughts. If you have very big goals, start defining a plan. There is not just one single thing that can bring you from point A to point B. You need a lot of different things. You need many things that all together or reiterated in time will bring you from point A to point B. Of course, you are going to need to design a plan. 
I'm going to make some content about this specifically around the end of the year because that's when people generally like you know start with the new year resolution and such which I don't really believe in but I still want to make some content about it because I know that people really look for it and I mean if you're a content creator you kind of need to <laughs> also <laughs> talk about what other people want you to talk about but you need to design a really big step-by-step -step plan if you've never played the sims each accomplishment you will have a set of quests that you have to complete in order to go on with the next one and now I feel like that's what exactly what you have to do that's exactly what you have to do with your own life with your own goal if your goal, like my goal, is to become a famous singer or songwriter, or rapper in my case, what is going to help you the most is creating a plan. So how are you going to achieve that? What are the quests that are going to bring you from now to basically bring, being someone that nobody really knows and nobody really cares about to a famous songwriter, singer, rapper, whatever? Artist. I can't really stress this enough guys like if you are not prepared for the type of success that you want you will not achieve it because you will you will continue self-sabotaging of course so that's why thinking of yourself as being a character in The Sims 4 is so helpful you have your own plan all laid out for you there's nothing you have to improvise it removes a lot of pressure i feel like off of your shoulders you allow yourself to experiment to grow and all of this while having the certainty of a plan behind your back so first of all i would say what does this success look like how will you know that you have achieved success what will be your point for example i know that i will have leveled up if i buy myself a kuyana bag the kuyana tote bag i am a sucker for their bags i love them insanely and i want one <laughs> so i tell myself that i feel like i will have leveled up in the moment i will be able to afford one of their bags of course this is going to be one of the point b's like now i'm at point a and the first point b that i want to reach is this but it's not going to be um the only one comprehensively and then just follow your plan guys it's not that deep sometimes i feel like the reason why we don't really achieve success is not because we're not qualified enough but because we don't work as hard as we could and the reason why we don't work as hard as we could is because we kind of forget if you don't have a plan and you're not motivated all the time you're not going to manage seriously and i know this because i am the type of person who tends to forget and that's where the problem arises because you are not going to be motivated all the time if you are motivated and you have a certain thing that keep you motivated then it's great but it's not going to work all the time and at that point if you don't have a plan then <laughs> it's kind of hard <laughs> Now, something that you also have to avoid doing is using the plan as an excuse for not doing things. Oh my gosh! Because this is also what happens, is that you create your plan and you're like, oh yeah, okay, now I know what to do. But I don't have to do it right now. But I don't have to do it right now. And if this is the case, it means that you have some sort of fear around it being uh, perceived about landing a career of your dream, whatever this is generally what happens to me i am that type of person and generally that's because i'm very hard on myself i tend to be really really hard on myself so if i fail then i tend to be myself up for it a lot so if i have my plan i'll be like no i don't actually need to start you know and i get that this is common for a lot of people you guys make up your beautiful plan you create your pinterest board with all the ideas all the things but then what happens you're like i don't actually need to do it right now my plan is there i don't have to do it right now so of course it's not an excuse for you guys to be uh passive with your life it's actually a way to make you more active if you're scared of something then you have to solve that fear i am going to continue preparing the food the, for the what i'm going to bring for thanksgiving okay so my look is completed i hope you guys like it and i hope you guys like this video happy thanksgiving